Right, this is a continuation on from yesterday's uh, interview. So you're in, currently you're in New York. I'm in New York. You've just done the press conference. Yeah. You've just had We're a... We're in the Plaza Hotel here in Manhattan. Okay. Um, yeah, talk to me about what you've announced today. Okay, so what I've announced today is, even though it's in a couple of days, is Anthony Joshua signed with Design. His first fight against Alexander Povetkin on September the 22nd will be on Design. We have a number of fighters that we're announcing today. Today, yes, or, so today. Okay. Yeah. Or in a couple of days. Um, two weight world champion, Jesse Vargas, 147 pound fighter, been in some huge fights, looking to be in those huge fights again. Current number one ranked middleweight in world boxing, Demetrius Andrade. Um, just a Tremendous talent, I think one of the biggest talents in, in world boxing. I'll go through him and then you can talk to me about yeah. him after. Um, uh, three fight deal with Yvonne Michel with Artur Baturbiev, the reigning IBF light heavyweight world champion. The WBA super bantamweight champion, Daniel Roman, who will be fighting Gavin McDonald in the first defense, uh, sorry, in the, in the defense of his world title. The WBO like welterweight champion of the world, Maurice Hooker, teaming up with Rock Nation on a three fight deal with Hooker. And the big heavyweight, Gerald Miller. And then some just wonderful, wonderful young amateurs that you're gonna be seeing a lot about, you're gonna love them. It's the big heavyweight, USA's Nikozi Solomon out of Brooklyn. Looks like a carbon copy of Anthony Joshua. Another Team USA member in Nikita Ababi out of Brooklyn as well, brilliant young fighter. And the Golden Gloves champion, two-time Golden Gloves champion, just won the last one, is Rashad Matic, who is just a phenomenal young talent. Um, so yeah, we first date we announced, or announced him, is October 6th. Is that your Chicago. first show on the zone? Yes, our first, we've got September 22nd will be AJ. Yes. Then October the 6th, we're gonna be in Chicago. Okay. And on that, we're gonna have Jesse Vargas. Yeah. We're gonna have Demetrius Andrade, although we've got the WBO yeah, we'll situation, talk about, talk about that. We've got Baturbiev against Callum Johnson. Okay. We've got Katie Taylor against Cindy Serrano. We've got Jarrell Miller as well in a big fight. It's like, what is, obviously we've got triple headers three fights, quadruple headers four, what's five? Pex. What? Pex. Pex, no it's not, is it? No. Well five is a pentagon. Is it? Okay, interesting. So it's like a Pex. <laughs> on October the 6th in, uh, in Chicago. It is offensive. Yeah. Right. Um, and then we'll go like October the 20th or the 27th in LA. And that, we hope that will be, well, I can't say the names yet, we've got, we got f three or four more signings coming over the next sort of 10 days. And then hopefully that will be Hooker against Sorcedo as well, who is the mandatory for Marie Hooker. So what's the situation with Jacobs and Derevinchenko? So Jacobs Derevinchenko is on HBO. He's got another fight with HBO. That'll go... End of October, early November. That's separate from the. That's zone. not going to be on the zone. No, 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 that's on HBO. Okay. Um, is that going to be your what? What involvement have you got in that? that that's I'm the promoter. Yeah, so that is still. How does that work then? So you're doing your thing with the zone, but you've got. No, the, like, Jacobs is a standalone fighter that's with HBO. Right. What date so is that? Is that then? End of October, early November. We're just working out with Lou now. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's that's that, and I'm really really pleased by the progress we've made. Uh, got three reigning world champions already signed. And, and the key for us is to not just show the market and the fighters that we're signing, who we're signing, but also be able to set up fights for existing people that we're talking to. That makes sense. So I go to Mikey Garcia and I say, I've got two fights for you straight away. Maurice Hooker for the WBO Light Welterweight Championship of the World and then Jesse Vargas at 147. You know, rather than just come and say, come with me and I'll get you some fights. So, we own world champions now in key divisions where we can bring other fighters in, other champions, make unification fights. And again, just talking to another 20 fighters about signing and uh, very close to some more major announcements. What's the situation regarding the WBO and Andrade and Billy Joe Saunders? So Andrade has been very inactive. So he wants to fight Billy Joe Saunders, but at the same time the plan was to give him a couple of fights quickly and then gear him up for a world title change. He's also ranked with the IBF, so he'll end up being mandatory for the Jacobs Derevinchenko winner. 
But it's going to be very difficult for him to turn down the Billy Joe Saunders fight. So I think we've got about a week to make the decision before purse bids are called. And obviously, if we take that fight, I want to win the purse bids and do that fight in America. So, um, yeah, that's the situation with that. But I'm going to talk to their team in New York tonight. And like I said, the original plan was get active again, have a couple of fights, and then change for WBO or the, the Jacobs Derevinchenko winner. It's just a case of do we jump straight in the WBO fight? I think it's all down to him and his team, but the, the answer might be yes. If so, I expect there to be purse bids and then we'll, we'll give it a good go. You talk about the Andrade situation. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I mean, Billy Joe's said, put out there that September 15th he'd fight him where I think Frank's going to have a shot on. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's an interesting situation, yeah, it isn't is. it? I mean, we'll, I'd like to, I'd like to think I'd win the purse bids quite comfortably for that fight in America, but I don't know, maybe I'll reach out to Frank and say, do you want to do that fight next? Do you want to go to purse bids or do you want to do that fight in December or February or March? Because Andrade, like I said, I want to build, Andrade's such a great talent, great talent. But he's been off the scene. He has, but he hasn't yeah. really been built properly. But you'll see tomorrow at the press conference, I mean, you've seen. Yeah. He has bundles of personality and bundles of skill. He, he's, he's a great American fighter, you know? So, um, I'm, I'm excited by Demetrius Andrade, I really am. As I am by Jesse Vargas, as I am by Maurice Hooker, as I am by Daniel Roman, as I am by all the amateur kids as well, as I am for the other announcements that will be coming over the next week or so. Is there anyone you got close to getting but didn't get and won't get? Mm, those talks are still ongoing. Okay. How many fights is Joshua signed to the zone for? Um, at the moment, it's the Povetkin fight with a view to the next one as well, the Wilder fight. Fight, fight by fight with Joshua? Uh, options on his future fights, I should say. Okay. Zone. Which is a major coup for the zone, obviously. Coup. So they've got the biggest star in world boxing. Mm. I mean, they're launching their platform with the biggest star in world boxing. So when we go to New York tomorrow, or, or what you've just seen in New York today, you will see the press attention on Anthony Joshua. And DAZN have the biggest star in world boxing's next fight. So they debut with this, with Joshua? Yeah. Pavekin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Sweet. Fair enough. Um, yeah, any, anything else? More on what's happened today at your the press um, conference? No, because we don't know what's happened, but Gerald Miller, it looks like Gerald Miller will be there as well. So hopefully we get Miller and Joshua together. What, what's the situation with Miller and... Miller is a mandatory for the winner of Char against Equenda. Right. So I want to get him out and get a fight in October and then fight the winner of that. Okay. Because the Pulev situation... Pulev will fight Huey Fury. Huey Fury. Well, once they agree a deal, but... Okay. It was just... He was getting like four or five hundred grand Gerald Miller to go to Chicago, uh, to go to Bulgaria for the fight. And you just fall. It doesn't seem like anyone really wants to go to Bulgaria. <laughs> Funny that. Um, no, but I think Huey's, Huey said he'll go. I think Huey could beat Pulev, you know. Yeah, I think he can beat mm. Pulev. All right. All right. Well, yeah, it was a good press conference. Thank today, you, mate. Glad you enjoyed it. And then, so you're flying tonight. Yeah. Back tomorrow. To London. See you at Wembley. At Wembley. Tomorrow. Wednesday. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Eddie, thank you very much for talking to Arthur TV again. We'll catch up with you tomorrow at the Joshua. USA, baby, we coming.